Hey everybody, it's Angie and welcome to Hot and Flashy. In today's video, I've got my review on the Nera Pro Laser. I am so psyched about today's video because I got the before and after pictures to show you after using this for 90 days. This is a non-fractional, non-ablative laser that's FDA cleared for use around the periorbital area and it's been clinically shown to reduce wrinkles. The way this laser works is it looks for water in your skin. What it's doing is just raising the temperature of the deeper levels of your skin right below the level of heat shock, right to the exact level where your skin produces collagen. And this has been shown to produce types one and type three collagen in your skin. So it doesn't destroy any skin and it's not looking for color in your skin. So it's safe to use for people with darker skin tones. As you guys may or may not know, I reviewed the sister laser to this, the other Nero product, the Nero Precision Laser, about nine months ago. And I was so psyched about the results that I got with this that when this one came out I was kind of like oh wait I just you just got me to love this one so much and I'm using it and I'm seeing great results around my eyes now you're releasing another one like that's not fair but this one does take the neuro lasering to a whole new level of comfort and speed and the areas that you can treat and there's no reduction in the power or the amount of energy that you're getting out of this one you're just treating a bigger area in less time. And so I did want to try to use it on my neck, see if I could treat my neck, because those of you who follow me know that my neck is not the bane of my existence, but it's not keeping up with my face as far as my little anti-aging stuff that I do to it, because on my face, I can use my tretinoin and I can't use it on my neck. I do use retinaldehyde on my neck, which is a different retinoid, but it's 10 times weaker. So it's giving 10 times less results. You know, the thing that makes me so self-conscious about my neck is not so much when I'm talking to the camera and looking at you because, you know, my chin's up, it looks fine for a 61 year old neck with a ton of sun damage. But it's, you know, when I whip my phone out and I look down into it and I'm like, oh my goodness. Look at all that turtle fur. Where did that all come from? So I'm always looking for something that I can do at home to help it to look better. So I was kind of hoping that I'd be able to see the same kind of results in wrinkle reduction that I had around my eyes with this laser with the new Nera Pro. And of course, we'll see today if it panned out in the before and after pictures. But first, let's just talk a little bit about the laser, the specifications, how I used it, what it feels like, how long it takes to use it. And then we'll take a look at the before and after pictures. And then you can decide if this is something that you want to invest your money and your time in. So while we have it out here, let's just do a quick comparison of the two models. So the first bit of comparison is the size of the opening. So you can see the new Nera Pro Pro model has a much, much bigger opening than the little precision model. And what that enables you to do is to cover a lot more surface area of your skin in a lot less time than you could with the precision model. You can use it on your chest, you can use it on the backs of your hands. Both lasers are a 1450 nanometer non-fractional diode laser. The main differences are the length of the pulse that they give you and the number of joules per pulse. The pulse for the precision model is 0.8 seconds and the pulse for the new pro model is two to 3.1 seconds. They both have five power levels, so they both have five different amounts of power output. So the precision model gives you 2.16, 2.32, 2.48, 2.66, or 2.97 joules per centimeter squared, depending on if you're on power level one or up to power level five. And the Nera Pro at level one gives you 2.1 joules per centimeter squared, 2.4 for level two, 2.7 for level three, 3.2 for level four, and 3.8 joules per centimeter squared for level five. So you're getting more power per square centimeter out of the pro model than you are out of the precision model. And I feel like one of the biggest differences between the two models is that the precision model actually kind of hurts when you're using it at the higher levels. I started off on level one, that was fine. Went up to level two, that was fine. Went up to level three, that was fine. Level four, ouch, it hurt, but I could do it. Level five, far too painful for me to ever really even use it at level five much. So I only ever got up to the 2.66 joules per centimeter squared for most of my time using the precision laser. Whereas with the pro laser, I can use this on level five and have been using it on level five from day one. It doesn't hurt at all. And that was kind of the gating issue with this one for me is that it did hurt a little. And it was the one thing that I didn't 100% love about it. I love the results. I loved how quick and easy it was to use. But this one, which is for me completely pain-free, is like 
wow, an amazing difference over this one. And you know, I have to admit, when I first got this one and started using it and it wasn't as hot as the original Precision Laser, I was like a little suspicious that maybe it wasn't delivering the same amount of energy. So I had a call with the president of the company and asked him like, how can this one work if it's not nearly as hot as this one? And he explained to me that because the pulse on this one is three to four times longer than the pulse on this one. It kind of ramps up the amount of energy that it's delivering. And so your skin actually takes that longer interval to acclimate to the heat. He said, it's like when you're like getting in a hot tub, let's say, and you first dip your toe in, you're like, oh gosh, that's so hot. And you take it out and then like 10 seconds later, you stick your toe back in and it doesn't feel as hot anymore. So I was like, wow, so you're delivering more energy but just over a longer time so it doesn't feel as hot, it's really much more of a pleasure to use. To use the precision model, every pulse that you wanted to deliver, you had to press a button. So every time you pressed it to your face, you then had to press the button to deliver the energy. With the Pro model, there is no button to press. You just turn it on and when it comes in contact with your skin, it fires on its own. It just makes it a lot easier to use that you don't have to be pressing the button every second or so. Those are the main differences between the two. Now let's talk specifically about the Pro model. So here's the Nera Pro up close. You can see from the front that it does have that bigger aperture opening. From the side, that is where you charge it. So it comes with a charging cord. On the back, that's the vent. It does have a cooling fan built in that comes on automatically. To turn it on, you press the on button once and then you toggle it up through the five different levels to get to the heat setting that you prefer. When you're ready to do your treatment, you just press the device to your skin and it will fire automatically. When it fires correctly, you hear the beep sound that indicates that it fired correctly. If you don't have it positioned correctly, it'll give you an error sound and you just move it slightly until you get it positioned correctly and then it will fire. This is a device that you are supposed to use every night. You actually can use it twice a day if you want. You can use it morning and night. You just need to give your skin a few hours to recover in between sessions. I used it once a day at night. So I would wash my face when my face was nice and clean and dry, then I would do the treatment. I would usually start above my eye and go around my eye area. I would do 10 pulses around my eye and then I'd do a couple of extra pulses on my eyelid and I overlap the pulses. Then I would pretty much do the rest of my face going in lines from left to right or right to left. I do about 40 pulses for each side of my face. So that's 80 pulses for my face. And then I've been treating my whole neck. And for my neck, I do almost 40 pulses on each side there. So I'm looking at about 160 pulses to do my entire face and neck. So to do my entire face and neck takes about eight to 10 minutes per session. If I was doing, say, just my eyes, it would literally be 30 seconds per eye and then I'd be done every day. So it can take as little or as much time as you want, depending on how many areas you wanna treat with it. Now, because I'm using it for my whole face and my whole neck every single night, I do have to charge it more often. I find that on a full charge, I can do maybe three treatments of my whole face and my whole neck. So if you were just doing, say, your eye area 60 seconds a day versus my you know, eight to 10 minutes a day, then the charge could last you a week or two weeks. But where I'm doing, you know, so much real estate with it every single night, the charge is really about three days, I'd say. Though considering the laser use-wise, I'm really, really happy with how much faster this is to use all over my whole face, all over my whole neck, that it doesn't hurt, it doesn't get super hot, you know, the fan goes on. And because it's more comfortable to use, I am more likely to stick with it. And the other thing that I like about this is that you can use it down the center line of your neck. Because this only affects the skin on the surface and it doesn't go deeper than the skin, you can use it over your thyroid. And you can use this if you have a darker skin tone because this doesn't look for pigment in your skin. It's targeting water in your skin. And so that's why you use it with a dry face. But usually with lasers, people with a darker skin tone can't use a laser or have to be very careful with them. And with this one, there isn't that precaution because it doesn't look for pigmentation in the skin. The other thing with this one is that there's no contraindication to not use it with your tretinoin. So this is safe to use with your tretinoin and your stronger anti-aging actives. It's awesome from 
from that standpoint that it really makes it easy to work it into your skincare routine because you don't have to worry about interactions with your skincare and you don't have to worry about interactions with your other devices. You just go ahead and use this and it's really quick and painless to use. So I love all that about it. So, okay, I think that is everything that I had to say about the device itself. And of course, the last thing to do is to look at the before and after pictures. Now, you guys know I always give you my before and after picture disclaimer, which is that I take these pictures at home. You know, I do have a nice camera. It's set up on a tripod and the camera and the tripod never move. And my lighting is the same from before to after. So those things stay the same. What moves, of course, is me. <laughs> and I wish I had some kind of a device here that I could like lock my head into and put it on my desk and have it be in the same place every time so that my face would be at the exact same angle with my chin up or down with my smile the same amount. But of course, you know, taking the pictures three months apart, a little bit difficult to do that. But I try to get them exactly perfect. I probably take a hundred pictures for every one that I show you, just trying to get the exact smile on my face, <laughs> the exact turn of my head. I do try to control as many variables as I can to keep the pictures as accurate as possible. The pictures aren't retouched and I never use any filters in my picture. Sometimes people will say, oh, it's clear that you used a filter because part of it's in focus and part of it's not in focus. That is just the nature of photography. That's how lenses work. They either focus on everything or they have a shallower depth of focus where they're focusing on one thing and other things fall out of focus. So if you're seeing some differences in focus, it's not a filter. And what I have you looking at is in sharp focus. Let's take a look at the pictures. This first series of pictures are gonna be the face pictures. So in these, I use the after pictures from the precision laser as the before pictures for the pro laser. Looking at this first series, what I'm looking at is my crow's feet, the wrinkles under my eyes, and the nasal labial folds, because that's mainly where I saw big changes in my skin using the precision laser. And what I see in these pictures is that around my eye area, there is a slight improvement over the before pictures. It's not exponentially more like it was from baseline to the precision laser, but the pro laser definitely did maintain the results that I had with the precision laser and increase them a tiny bit. So then the other part of my face that I was looking at here are the nasal labial folds. And I feel like they haven't improved much, but they haven't gotten any worse over time either. All right, so the next series of pictures are the neck pictures. And I think this is where I really see the biggest improvements using the Nera Pro. I feel like the big wrinkles across the center of my neck are less deep. I feel like the skin definitely looks like there has been some collagen production going on because the skin just seems firmer and plumper and it doesn't wrinkle up as much, especially when my chin is down in some of these pictures. Looking at my jawline and my jowls, I can't say that it completely got rid of them and made me look like I have the neck of a 20 year old, but I am seeing an improvement here. I feel like my jowls are a little bit less saggy. I feel like that little flap directly underneath my chin is not hanging down quite so far. I am really, really psyched about the results that I've been able to achieve using the Nera Pro on my neck and on my jowls and along my jawline. All right, so that is my complete review on the Nera Pro laser and comparison to the Nera Precision laser. So I hope that this review has helped you to make up your mind about whether either of these lasers is something that you wanna spend your money on, spend time using, because you know, as I always say, if you purchase a device and it sits in a drawer gathering dust, you will definitely not get any results from it. It really takes using these things consistently over time in order to see results. And while I consider these results a big success, you may be like, meh, not enough for me. Or you may be like, wow, that's amazing. I need to get one of those things. So if you're in the latter camp and you're like, hey, I want to get one of those things and you appreciate the review, then definitely use my link to make your purchase. Their Black Friday sale is going to be starting on the 23rd and running through the 27th. And both devices will be 25% off. And after that, you can use my code hot and flashy for I'm not sure what they're giving me this time. It's either gonna be 10% off or 15% off. If you enjoyed my review on the Nero lasers and found it helpful and informative, don't forget to give the video a like and subscribe to my channel. As always, I thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate you watching. I hope you have a great day and I will see you in the next video. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.